Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Stack Veterinary Hospital's YouTube channel. My name is Susie. I'm a licensed veterinary technician, and I'm also the clinic's rehab practitioner. So today I'm going to go over with you phase one of your pet's post-op home exercises. So assuming your pet had some type of orthopedic surgery, whether for cruciate repair, uh, patella repair, FHO, something along those lines. So I'm going to go over phase one, which is really simple. Basically, we're going to do some simple passive range of motion, but we're also going to add in some massage and some cold therapy. So what we want to do is make sure that your pet is nice and comfortable. Having them lay on their side is going to be the easiest way to do this. So this is Nino, and we will assume that Nino had surgery on this back leg right here. All right, so one technique you can do to try and kind of relax them is a nice massage. Technique that I really like is like a, a crab claw technique, okay? So I apply some pressure, but I also pinch the skin a little bit. So that's going to aid in circulation, also help try and have them relax as well. You can also just rub, that's going to cause enough friction to warm up the tissue area as well. So as far as exercise goes, we most importantly want to make sure that this leg stays in a nice straight plane. So with one hand, you're going to cup the knee, and this is basically just going to stabilize the knee. Your other hand is going to be down here at the ankle, and this is where all your movement's going to happen. Again, your right hand, or whatever hand you're using to hold the knee steady, is just going to be for stabilization, and your move's going to be down here at the ankle. So very gently, I'm just going to flex and extend, nice and slow. At this point post-op, you're not going to get a whole lot of movement, so the movement that I'm actually doing is probably more than you're going to get. So it's just going to be very minimal, and again, as best as you can, try and keep everything nice and straight. Obviously, if your pet seems uncomfortable, seems really stressed, we don't want to stress them out, so you can go ahead and discontinue um, you know, the exercise until you're comfortable doing more with him or her. When you're done doing the exercises, regardless if you're able to get them done or not, I want you to go ahead and ice the area. Ideally, if you have something that can wrap over the entire knee, um, if not, do one area, the other area, and then underneath. That's going to be your best. We want to make sure that the whole knee is going to get nice and cool. Ideally, if they let you ice for about 10 to 15 minutes, and of course, always making sure there's a thin layer between the patient and the ice pack as we want to prevent any type of frostbite from happening. That's pretty much it for phase one. Tune back. We'll do phase two next. Thank you.